Today I'll be sharing with you how to make delicious crunchy quilly quilly. First I have my fresh peanut which I've already cleaned. I'll take to the heat and toast. I will stir to avoid any kind of bond. I'm doing this on a medium heat. To know if the peanut is well toasted, the back of the peanut will start cracking. I will also check with my hands. Once the back of the peanut start peeling, which means it's ready. Once it's ready, I'll transfer it into a tray. And it is time for me to peel them. To do this, I'll be using two methods. First, I'll be using my kitchen towel. I will transfer some of them to the kitchen towel and fold together and begin to squeeze. I'll be doing this for about two to three minutes. This method is very fast. After some time of squeezing it, you can see how a peanut looks like. It came out nicely peeled and clean. I will set aside, then I'll be using the second method to peel the peanut. I'll add some to my tray, then squeeze the peanut with my hand. This also came out nicely peeled and clean. I'll be repeating the same process for all the peanuts. After peeling them, it is time for me to begin to separate the shaft from the peanuts. To separate the shaft from the peanut, you can either winnow it with your train or you use this method that I'll be showing you on this video. For this method, we'll be needing a sieve to sieve out the shaft from the peanut. So I just transfer my peanut into a smaller train. Then add some peanut to the sieve. Then shake the sieve to separate the shaft from the peanut. This method is also very fast and easy. You can see how peanut came out clean and beautiful. After this, it is time for rods to begin to blend. I add some of them to my blender and blend until it becomes smooth and oily. Please, if today is your first time of watching my video, I want to say thank you for watching to this point. Please kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more great videos. And to my still returning subscribers, I want to say thank you for standing by me. May God bless you. After blending for a while, I'll check to know if the peanut is smooth. Once our peanut is nicely blended and very smooth, I will be transferring it into a bowl. After that, I'll be adding hot water to my peanut to extract the oil from it. I will stir it together properly. After stirring for a while, you notice that the oil has started forming. I'll continue to add hot water bit by bit and stir until the peanut oil is well formed. I'll repeat this process about four to five times until the peanut oil is well formed.
Now you can see that the oil has started coming out from the peanut dough. Then I'll now transfer the peanut dough into a sieve to strain the oil from the peanut dough. I will mold it into a bold shape. With this process, I'm able to extract pure oil from the peanut dough. You can see that the oil has started dropping from the strainer into the bowl. I'll be leaving it for some time for me to get more oil. But to make it faster, I'll be using my cheesecloth to press out more oil from the peanut dough. This process is compulsory because we don't want to have oily quilly quilly. I'll be transferring the peanut dough into my cheesecloth wrap together and begin to squeeze it like this to extract the oil from the peanut dough. You can see that the oil has started coming out. Once I finish extracting the oil from the peanut dough, I'll be setting the oil aside and then transfer my peanut dough to a bowl. You can see in the process of making quilly quilly, the first thing you get is pure peanut oil. Here we have the oil that was extracted from the peanut dough. I just add them together and set them aside. And now it is time for us to begin to prepare the quilly quilly. Here we have our peanut dough. Add to it some salt, two tablespoons of sugar, and then one tablespoon of chili pepper. I'll mix together properly. For all the ingredients to be well integrated, I'll be using my hand to mix it together. After mixing them together, I'll cut the dough into two parts. I'll transfer part of it to my baking paper. Then I'll begin to roll it out like this gently. After rolling, this is what it looks like. I'll be using my pizza cutter to cut out my desired shape. You can also use your hands to roll out your desired shape. After trimming the edges, I'll be cutting it into square.
I'll remove them from the parchment paper gently. Also roll more peanut dough and cut into circle shape. After cutting, I'll remove them with my spatula gently. I'll be gentle with it because they are fragile and again so that they don't lose their shape. After removing them, I'll be repeating the same process for the remaining peanut dough. Here I have the boat shape of the quilly quilly. I'll be using two methods for cooking of this quilly quilly. First, I'll be frying, and the other, I'll be baking. I'll just add the one I'll be frying to my heated oil and fry until it's golden brown. Once it's golden brown, I'll be removing them from the oil. You can see it's so easy to make quilly quilly at home. If you find value in this video, kindly click on the like button, share with friends and comment. Here I have the boat, the bake and the fried quilly quilly very crunchy and delicious thanks for watching god bless